Today we're going to take inspiration from a watercolour painting by Alexander Peckover in the museum's collection. It is of two Egyptian boats and their coloured sails. We're going to learn how to draw a simplified version, concentrating on the decorative sails. Once you have the basic shape drawn, you can adapt and add as many details as you want. Why not add Egyptian symbols or look for other examples of boats to give you ideas? I'm going to use a black permanent pen to do my drawing, but you can use a pencil if you prefer. And then I'm going to use watercolours to add colour and details. First I'm going to add a horizontal line across the bottom, this will be the river. Then I'm going to add two sides, one longer than the other. And then I'm going to do another horizontal line for the top of the boat and join these two lines up. Um, I'm just neatening up my lines here, but Now I'm going to add a sail, so I'm going to do a vertical pole down the centre um, and two horizontal lines being the top and the bottom of the sail. I'm then going to do some curved lines uh, drawing the actual sail and I'm adding a few extra for decorative purposes and then adding some stripes so I can do different patterns with my watercolours. I'm going to add a few details, um, taking inspiration from the watercolour from Alexander Pekova. Um, and I'm also going to add um, an Egyptian eye symbol. I'm going to add a few extra little details here. I'm going to add some oars and I'm going to pop them behind the end just by leaving a gap in the line and a little support just to hold it up. I'm going to add some zigzag lines to give the impression of water. Now I'm going to do a wet on wet um, painting so I'm adding water first and then using um, blue on top which gives that lovely wet look. For the smaller details I'm using um, a light yellowy brown just to sort of give the idea of wood and I'm just using that on dry paper so it doesn't spread too much. I'm working quite quickly um, with the paint so that it doesn't dry um, too, too much in one position. So I'm trying to spread it fairly quickly, even though obviously this is speeded up. Adding some green. So I'm adding extra colour at the bottom to create a dark green uh, and more water at the top to make a light green. And what you can find is if you do add too much colour, you can use a little bit of paper towel just to dab that off. So if you want to create a lighter colour, you add more water, a darker colour, less water. I'm using quite a light background so I can add stronger um, colour for details on the top once it's dry. Some of the red has bled into the blue, um, but I'm not too worried about that, so I'll just spread it out a little. I'm now using um, the same yellow, but with less water to add little details, so some zigzaggy lines. The background is dry so they don't bleed into each other. And I can darken some lines up, adding a bit more extra colour. Now I'm going to add some decoration to, to the sails. This is the fun bit where you can get really creative thinking about geometric shapes 
um, you can use whatever colours you'd like. I again went with ones inspired by the painting and tried to use, pick up some of those shapes that I could see in, in that painting too. But you could perhaps find other examples of patterns and, and use that. I'm sticking with my colour palette of red, blue and green as well. When you're happy with your painting, sign it at the bottom. 